here building? A Lazy Susan. Now we get tons of questions about this particular Lazy Susan, where we got it from, but we actually built it ourselves. So today we're gonna show you how to make one yourself. Oh, little Miko. Oh my gosh, look at you. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We'll go grab a PC for you guys so you can see what it looks like on the Lazy Susan. So this is 20 inches by 20 inches. Now we built a lot of PCs. I think the only PC we've really built that didn't fit on here was that oh my huge God. Leanne Lee case. It's freaking massive. You can make it any size you want. I think we're gonna make a slightly bigger one today, but it just makes PC building so much easier because once you start getting components in, it gets really heavy. You're having to lift it, spin it around, and this, like you can just access anything you want. So basically how we made this is we took a Lazy Susan turntable from Amazon and we super glued it to the back of our wood. There's a few different ones that you can pick up. This one was actually more expensive. So yeah. what I managed to find was a cheaper one. This one was only $26. And it actually feels better quality for some reason. It's by a brand called Volcano. Volcanoes <laughs> Club. I'll put it in the description if you guys want to pick like it up. Kind of like you're a DJ. It is, yeah. <laughs> and this thing can hold up to 200 pounds. So that's like way heavier than any PC. You can see on the top down, there's actually two different textures. This one's more of a flat texture and this is more so of like little square textures. Definitely feel like this would adhere better to the wood, even though this has never come off. Yeah. I just feel like the flat surface is much better than this one. And the bearings feel better in this. Like if you look at the spin on that versus this. Oh yeah. yeah. Silky smooth. So let's go ahead and get the supplies that you are going to need to build your own DIY Lazy Susan. So this is the piece of wood we're gonna be using. It's 22 inches by 20. So the last one we had was just a square 20 by 20, but some cases we build on are a little bit like longer. Yeah. So we thought we'd just make a slightly longer one this time. Uh, you can pick up the wood from Lowe's. They'll usually be able to cut it for you. Or if you've got the equipment at home, you can or also do that. Or if you want to be even cheaper, you can go to the Lowe's section where they cut wood for pick people. Pick up some scrap wood. And pick up the scrap wood for free. And then you have your Lazy Susan practically for free, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> now, the other materials that you're going to need for your Lazy Susan are some super glue. This is Gorilla Glue. And then if you wanted to finish off your Lazy Susan to match your table, you could get the same kind of wallpaper that we have here which is a concrete finish. We really just wanted it to blend in with the table when we're doing PC builds, so that's why we decided to do the same wall wallpaper. And the final step is this vinyl edging. Now, this is the same stuff that we use on the edges of our desk, and how we use it is you just heat it up with an iron, it has adhesive on it, and then you just go all the way around and it finishes it off really nicely. Something else to mention is the size of the vinyl. So this is three quarters of an inch and you wanna make sure that you match up the size of your vinyl to the edge of your wood so that it's not too big and it's not too small. So first- We need to mark our center point. About there and there. Yeah, that should be our center point. So if we just draw a circle around it. Good enough. Yeah. And now it's glue time. <laughs> So should we do like a... Yeah, we should. I think we should go... Okay. Don't get it on your fingers. Super glue smells so bad. It does. Oh, it makes my eyes burn sometimes. I remember trying to super glue LED strips to the bottom of my couch and it just ended up with huge, you know, it leaves like a white stain. Yeah. There was just like crazy white staining on the bottom of the couch. I think that should be good. I it doesn't need good. to be perfect. That's a lot of super glue. I that see is... my eyes are already starting. Can <laughs> <laughs> you line it up? That'll do. Yeah, now we pretty much wait for it to dry. We'll be back momentarily. A few minutes later. It's been about 30 minutes that we have uh, left this glued uh, to it and I would say it's, it's it looks pretty, pretty good. good. Let's give it a spin. Wow. That actually spins <laughs> much better than the other Lazy Susan. Wow. Almost too well. How fast can it go? Oh my God, I don't want it to like <laughs> hit the screen. <laughs> okay, now that that is all done and ready to go, it is time to do uh, the uh, vinyl now, this is usually my expertise. This woman will wallpaper anything. <laughs> <laughs> I will. We take that out and... I'll get some scissors. If you could get a card. The Ingles Advantage card. <laughs> By the way, if you've never had Ingles donuts, you should try them. They are the best. <laughs> they are the best donuts ever. The good thing about this wallpaper, this is a little bit more expensive, good quality. So when you put it on, it doesn't bubble up like cheap wallpaper does. So it's pretty easy to just put on there. And this yeah. stuff lasts for ages. Good there. Yeah, that looks good. Now we're going to need our- Exacto knife. Exacto knife. 
And I usually just cut off the edges, just the thick parts first before I start getting it precise. What I like to do is I'll take it and I'll like pinch it towards the edge and then go in there with that and then just straight down. Perfect. We'll just go ahead and do all sides, unless you want to do some. Now, Nene's expertise is the, the finer details. I, I tend to do the maths and like the bigger cutting stuff. Oh yeah, like on the, the saw, table yeah, saw and stuff. Because you're terrified of the table saw. <laughs> I'm just afraid I'm gonna lose a finger or something anytime that we work with those tools. We've been planning our new gaming setup. Oh my God, yes. So we're actually going to do a two person setup. So we'll be in the same room again. And instead of being behind each other, we're gonna be side by side. All right, there you go. That is pretty much all the edges cut. So the final step is our binding to go around the edge. Now we're gonna need an iron for this. Where is the iron? It's in the closet. Oh. All right, so here is the iron. So you can basically just pick any corner. I think we're gonna start with this one and you don't have to cut it either. It will just wrap around the edges when you heat it up, which is quite cool. You leave it on there for about a good four to five seconds and it will instantly melt into it. Looking pretty good so far. Okay, so now we can go ahead and just pull it and it will arch all the way around. I can't tell you how excited I was when I found out about vinyl wrapping for the edges of desks. Yeah, why did you even find the I idea don't to know. do that? I've never I, seen anyone do it before. I just felt like a whole world was opened up to me of possibilities of building making stuff. Making custom desks. And making it look nice. What inspired you to create your custom game and desk? Um, I, I think had when a... you made your setup at the time, most people were just using Ikea desks mostly. Well, the tops, yeah. Well, it was because I needed a specific size desk and I was probably really poor at the time. So I had, I had to get very creative. That should be pretty good. And then I usually just cut it off like that. And then I'll go back in with the X-Acto knife and cut it. Like that. So that is the uh, finished product. And now this has definitely got a lot more spin. It, it does, yeah. Should we put the PC on it? Yeah, grab test? the PC. Ooh, that feels good. Does it? It does. Oh yeah, that is much smoother than the last one. <laughs> yeah! That about wraps it up for the DIY Lazy Susan. I know it was kind of a strange video, but there have been people on the channel asking how to build this, so hopefully it will help someone out there. And very cheap as well. Like the Lazy Susan came in at $26. You can pick the wood up probably for free, depending on where you get it. Obviously the wallpaper and the binding is optional, but yeah, all in, probably like $30 to $40. And you don't have to just use it for PC building. You could use it for anything. Yeah, really. any other arts and crafts that you do, this would be perfect for it. We'll have everything linked down below in the description if you want to pick up anything that you saw today. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll catch you all in the next one.